welcome back so in this video i am asking you a question are you still using postman so for those who are new to postman postman is a tool which is used to test rest apis so whenever you are dealing with rest apis and you want to know how your response will look like what all types of authentication it supports or how to provide the bearer token and all those things so for that we use uh, usually go for postman this is one of the most popular tool and I personally prefer to use this since like I'm using it since many years now but recently I was exploring VS Code extensions and I found a very good extensions which can completely replace this postman so that's what I'm going to show you today so I am on my VS Code and I'm going to install extension using this by clicking on the extension button and the extension name is Thunder Client. So if you will click on this, you can get it installed. And once it is installed, we can shrink it. Okay. Now you can go to command palette and type Thunder Client new request. So it will add a new button at the bottom left, you can see. So click on that new button and here click on new request so you can see that this ui looks almost like a postman so you need not to play much around it to understand that what all fields are everything is self-explanatory so the very first thing which we need is we need to provide whether we are going for get post put all these uh, commands so let me try out something for you i'm going to call uh, an API which is of event bright and my plan is to extract details of a given event so this is the URL let me shrink it okay so this is the URL and I want to provide some event ID over there so for that we need to create a parameter here and we need to provide some value so I will take value as some event ID and then i need to provide something for the authentication and it relies with it works with bearer token so i'm holding a bearer token which i'm going to enter it over here and then click on send so oops so it's required for all the requests so looking like we didn't provide it okay so this time it worked and here you can see that you got the status code over here, the size and the time it took to uh, process this request and these are the details of the events which I was looking for. So this is how you can use this very very simple tool and make your life easy. So whenever you are with VS Code, no need to open Postman and we can safely say bye bye to that. Hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.